Quickly! I need a flight to BlizzCon! Another year, another BlizzCon. This year was a lot more eventful compared to others. Some reasons it's intentional and some others, uh, not so much. But nevertheless, it was another successful year in the books. My BlizzCon experience started with the goodie bag, which wasn't really a bag this year and more of just one statue that you got. I picked the orc grunt because you could see his awesome butt cheeks if you flip the statue over. There's also these guys outside of the convention screaming about something. They seemed really unhappy, and they gave me a, a poster for something. I, d I don't really know what it means, but uh, uh... BlizzCon gets bigger and bigger every year, and this year it wasn't any different. One of the new things this year was the Blizzard Arcade where you could play some of their older games, and personally, I didn't want to wait in a line for it, but it was very cool nonetheless. Unfortunately, there was a lot of leaks this year, but that didn't stop the hype during the opening ceremonies, which is easily my favorite part of the convention. Something new this year was that there were signs around the convention warning us of graphic imagery during the opening ceremony, and I was confused until... Oh my god! Je oh my god, Jeff! Jeff, put some pants on, dude! What are you- Oh no! I've gone to BlizzCon six times now, and this was easily one of my favorites. I'd rate the convention this year a 8 out of 10. Overwatch announced Overwatch 2 in the most confusing rollout of a new game possible. So, basically Overwatch 2 is only PvE content in a graphical update, but you can also play the traditional PvP game modes in Overwatch 2 with people from Overwatch 1, so it's basically just an expansion, but it's also called Overwatch 2, an entirely separate game, and, uh, I, I don't know, this is just a very confusing marketing decision, but it still was fun. Even if you don't like FPS games that much, the PvE game mode will be a lot of fun if the story and characters of Overwatch interest you. Overall, I'd rate Overwatch a 7.5 out of 10. In WoW news, Classic Phase 2 got its release date. It's coming a lot sooner than I hoped. I wouldn't say that I'm dreading it, I'm more of just bracing for impact for the true battle for Azeroth. But what I'm most excited for is the keyring, baby! Also, they had vanilla WoW ice cream at the convention, but I did not buy it because it was also uh, very expensive. Shadowlands came out too, and I'm actually really excited for it. It seems like they're really pushing for player agency and the choices they make instead of just some random RNG. And the return to class flavored abilities like auras and totems makes me really interested to see how it will all turn out. Story wise, I understand the game has had a lot of criticism in the past, but I feel like you gotta give it the Blizzard for keeping the lore interesting, and all of the lost souls in the Maw is going to be a great way to bring back some long lost characters. This year, I'd rate WoW an 8 out of 10. Diablo. Ooh, this was easily the best part of the convention. Now let me preface this part by saying that I've never really gotten into Diablo in the past, and I've tried Path of Exile, but it's kind of... horrifying how complicated it can be. But I tried Diablo 4 and it feels amazing. Graphically and stylistically, I love the gothic dark fantasy that they've gone with with the franchise, instead of something that's more high fantasy like they've done in the past. It also helps that the graphics are beautiful. I played a druid, which is a primarily melee class, and I think I'll stick with that class because the sound design behind every attack is just super bassy and extremely satisfying. I understand there's some criticism about the game with how they're doing itemization, but I think if they consider player feedback now, we will have an awesome game to play in probably like two years if I had to guess. There's also a Diablo Cathedral filled with props and beautiful Renaissance style paintings and a very large obese man you could take pictures with. So for that reason alone, I rate Diablo a 9 out of 10. And I think that's a good way to end this video. 
That was my BlizzCon experience. It was a killer convention this year, and I'm sure I'll be there for the next. I know, short video, but I just wanted to make something about this, because, uh, I think it would be a lot of fun. Now, uh, more WoW videos in the future, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.